for no worldly good whatsoever, and for the love of no man, must anything be done which is evil. But for the help of the suffering, a good work must sometimes be postponed, or be changed for a better. For herein a good work is not destroyed, but improved. Without charity no work profiteth, but whatsoever is done in charity, however small, and of no reputation it be, bringeth forth good fruit. For God verily considereth what a man is able to do, more than the greatness of what he doth. He doth much who loveth much, he doth much who doth well, he doth well who ministereth to the public good rather than to his own. Oftentimes that seemeth to be charity, which is rather carnality, because it springeth from natural inclination, self-will, hope of repayment, desire of gain. He who hath true and perfect charity in no wise seeketh his own good, but desireth that God alone be altogether glorified. He envieth none, because he longeth for no selfish joy, nor doth he desire to rejoice in himself, but longeth to be blessed in God as the highest good. He ascribeth good to none, save to God only, the fountain whence all good proceedeth, and the end, the peace, the joy of all saints. O oh, he who hath but a spark of true charity, hath verily learned that all worldly things are full of vanity.